Today, I'm going to be walking you through a demo of Digital.ai's Agility platform. Before we dive into the platform, let's talk a little bit about digital transformation. This is not a new term. We've been talking about this for years. Basically, it means that we place technology at the center of every business. Now, you've probably heard that every business is a software business. This is very much true today, even for traditional hardware companies. There's an app for everything. Software is the backbone for organizations to manage everything from employee productivity to engaging partners, vendors, and consumers. Today, digital transformation is a requirement across all industries. It's revolutionizing how businesses uncover new market opportunities, empower teams, and deliver value. This trend has only been accelerated by both the global pandemic as well as artificial intelligence. Think about it for a second. ChatGPT didn't even exist a year ago, and now it's everywhere. New startup companies are being formed every day, and they're challenging incumbents across all industry verticals. Companies who are slow to react, they're losing. They're losing customers, employees, partners, and market share. But digital transformation is easier said than done, especially for large scale organizations with legacy systems, massive global scale and critical compliance and governance requirements. The digital AI agility platform helps facilitate digital transformations across many organizations. We help drive consistency and efficiency, increase the speed of development and delivery of value and improve visibility and collaboration throughout your organization. As you can see on the right hand side of this graphic, there are many components within the agility platform from agile portfolio planning through strategic planning and roadmaps, custom dashboards with metrics and analytics, cross team collaboration and support for scaled agile frameworks such as safe. Let's get into the platform and take a look around. Welcome to the Agility platform. What we're looking at here is our welcome screen. Now, this screen, it highlights various capabilities and tasks that you can take to begin your Agile journey with Digital.ai's Agility platform. Once you start using Agility, you won't see the screen anymore and will instead be brought right to where you left off when you're last logged out. Let's take a look around the platform to get an idea of where all the various capabilities are. We're first gonna take a look at navigation. Now this is a context sensitive menu that changes depending on where you are in your portfolio tree. And we'll talk about that in a second. But we can see many options here from working at the portfolio level down to the sprint level. We can also start to get visibility into many of the reports and metrics that Agility has to offer. Let's take a look at that portfolio tree since it's really key to how the platform operates. This view enables us to view all the work in the platform and it's segmented by team or project. What we're looking at here are various agile release trains or individual teams. We're seeing a roll up of all the work to a particular level within this, uh, within this view. What we're really doing here is connecting strategy to execution. I can see my portfolio epics and program epics broken down into features and in some places even broke the, broken down into user stories and tasks. This really gives us the flexibility to manage all of the work in our system from a single view. It's relevant to both portfolio, portfolio users as well as individual team members. Now that we know how we're gonna plan, let's go take a look at what we're gonna plan with our roadmaps view. The roadmaps view within Agility provides a holistic view of the strategic intent, intent of the product team across an organization. It provides product management teams the ability to create different scenarios to assure that the plan being developed delivers the most business value. Roadmaps provide filtering mechanisms such as strategic teams or other strategic intents or themes or other work items. So we can help answer key questions to help drive organizational alignment. Once I have my roadmap all planned out and I know when I'm going to deliver my various features over time, we have to figure out how we're actually going to break those down and plan them into smaller time boxes than just quarters. Let's go take a look at a room and see how that planning and tracking is accomplished.
What we're looking at here is a planning room for portfolio managers or for release train engineers. If I'm on the portfolio team, I can get a quick view into all the work that's being done. I have a scorecard that's relevant for me. I can also start to take a look at various initiatives that are planned or analytics around this as well. And again, I can view that portfolio tree and work with this within this particular room because it's what I care about. We're filtering this now. These rooms are a great place to focus everyone on key ceremonies throughout the Agile process. Now that we've seen how release trained engineers and program portfolio managers can leverage a room, where are our end users going to be actually doing the work? Well, we have a room for them as well. Now, this looks similar, but what we can do is a little bit different in here because it's geared towards team members. This room is geared towards a scrum team. I can see things like various sprints, velocities, and burn down charts over the course of that sprint. Team members, along with scrum masters or coaches, need to view work sprint over sprint, and we have an iteration planning board that helps. As a team member, I'm working on this, I can move stories from static, from sprint to sprint if I have to, or I can work on them and edit them across this as well. We can actually dig deeper and look at tasks for a specific view as well, or for a specific sprint, and we can start to complete this work. Team members can now drag and drop their work across this board. Additionally, the team room has capabilities that are built in to better enable your teams on activities that they're doing day to day, such as retrospectives or estimation. This is great if I'm a scrum team, but we also support Kanban teams. We don't wanna leave them out either because we know that in organizations, there's gonna be a mix of both. Agility also supports Kanban work out of the box. What we can see here is a scorecard where our time box based metrics have been replaced by flow based metrics like a burn up chart and cumulative flow cumulative flow summary no matter how your agile teams work agility has you covered the last place we'll go is one of our reports the project dashboard what this is going to show is a, a view into work at a project level Things like a project burn down or work item trend, we can change durations and how things are segmented across all teams. And then we can also see a project level summary. Who is doing the work? Who is a part of this team? And what teams are, are a part of this? So this gives us a quick at a glance view into everything that's going on for in a particular part of the organization. Now that you've seen a high level tour of agility, let's connect and see how this would work in your organization. Schedule a meeting with Digital AI today to learn more. Thank you.